Before you know it, it's like you're in the woods. Only you're on the edge of a city. There we are, looking backward to where we came from. The transition. Blaze is well marked. And woods. Just like that. A little glimpse of the river down there through the woods. A little flowing water. And then there's where the trail's going. Up a hill. And out. Brings us to a juncture of some kind with the Wellesley Trail system. And we have this particular post literally loaded with blazes. The Wellesley Green Trail must be what is going there. I forget which one it is. And then the Charles Link heads this way. Comes from there, and we're going down closer to the water. Ooh, they got cool little steps. They look pretty old too. Must be the Wellesley part of it all. And it's floodplain maple forest. It would appear to be probably some oaks in there. Charles has pretty substantial cam terraces too. We're looking uphill. It goes down quite a ways. The kind of canyon wall slope effect formed during glacier times. highway nearby. Plenty of jewel weed as your savior <coughs> from poison ivy. And the blazing continues. Classic floodplain. And it looks like we're heading uphill again. Oop, I was wrong. Gradual rise but not steep. We sort of follow along 
the edge of the interstate, roaring wildly. Something. Enough for a meadow bird or two, maybe. A dance hall for a woodcock, perhaps. Funny surveyor markers. And back into the woods we go with the Blaze prominent. Denny's done a really good job. This trail was conceived by a bunch of residents in the area and it's really made to go all the way to Medfield. I'm just going to try to find the Wellesley Town Forest today and uh, I figure I'll be doing pretty good to do that. Uh, the forest is getting a little older. Some ash, I see, judging by its bark. The Cam Terrace is a little bit further away from the river's edge. This might have been a little post-glacial river pond or something. Nice, interesting bottom land. Yeah, you gotta listen to diesel trucks and stuff, but so what? I'm glad it's here. I'm glad someone figured out how to route something through it. Yeah, this is a pretty charming section. Yeah, it looks like old Lily of the Valley for the understory. Stuff escapes. At least it's not as troublesome as Japanese knotweed. It makes a great understory. <coughs> huh. Cellar hole, maybe? Some kind of funny pit. Maybe an access excavation for whatever this is. Some kind of water sewer system. Oh, there's a bit of a rise. wetlands, fairly extensive, kind of a marshy environment. I have a sense we're beginning to veer away from the interstate. Well done. This particular one is the only one. Well, actually, I'm not sure, but this is definitely the primary one that you can take using the subway and a short walk directly onto this elaborate spoke trail. 
all the way to Medfield, should you wish to. Looks like it's a reasonable option for trail runners, assuming you don't bump into people. Oh yeah, a rise. I'll have to actually look at one of those flimsy Google Maps soon. That looks like a touch of an inhabited zone. And out of respect for privacy, of course, we'll veer away. like we're at a major junction of several trail systems or their interaction. Yeah, these are some of the nattiest blazes I've seen. You could get an entire article out of the various blazes town conservation areas use here, almost like eco-heraldry. But I'd have to say, Wellesley's got some pretty cool ones. We're looking back from where we came all the way to Newton Lower Falls. Now we're connecting to some street thing, I suspect.